Hi, welcome to a Cartier V5 video tutorial. This time it's a series. One of you sent me this assembly via email and he got some problems with the kinematics. So he wants to do a simulation of this assembly, but he got difficulties. And there are many reasons for this. So what I want to show you is the important things if you want to do something like this. And I will concentrate not on the details like the bearings and the shafts, because they're not necessary to show you what's important. First things first, let's take a look at the parts. You see, this is sort of a pattern and you should use pattern because if you use a pattern you can reuse the pattern of the part in the assembly. Otherwise in Katia it's not possible, at least in Katia V5. Yeah? But, there is a big but, you have to keep specifications if you use a pattern in the part, otherwise it will not work. And you have to pattern only one feature at a time. Again, it will not work otherwise. So, let's take a look at this part. I opened it already in another window, right there. See, that's the part. And you may notice there is a yellow gear right here. Why? Because he used hybrid design and I don't use hybrid design and all the big companies don't use hybrid design. So if you do a new part, file new, go for part, okay, don't enable hybrid design. It's usually disabled, okay. Let's cancel this out. Next, don't use ordered geometrical sets. Use geometrical sets. Not this one, but this one. Okay? Let's take a look at the sketch. This sketch is not ESO constrained. And you use the yellow projected elements. If you always use it, it's okay, but don't mix it. I did already a video in my Kadiri 5 Basics playlist. Take a look there why I don't use these yellow projected elements. So this is not easy constraint. And there are four closed profiles in one sketch. And the sketch is much too complicated. So you should use simple sketches, one closed profile per sketch. And of course, easy constraint. So if you want to have something like this, you should pattern the holes, at least the holes. You could do only one third of this part and pattern it, then make a hole and pattern it. But, as I already said, pattern only one feature at a time and if you want to pattern, let's always keep specifications. Otherwise you cannot reuse the pattern in the assembly. You can sort of reuse it, but you cannot pattern the constraints in the assembly. So keep specifications. I noticed that there were parameters in the parts, so in the assembly. It's a good idea to use parameters, but you should publish them. So I will cover this topic as well. So there is tools publication, and there you could publish your user parameters like this and OK and we see you got a published element right here. I will cover this topic as well. So let's change to the original assembly. That's the original one and there's my reduced one. I called it trolley because reduced, I don't have those bearings and I don't care for these small shafts, they're not necessary. First you should arrange your assembly in the assembly workbench. 
right here because it's easier to do there and you should assemble it properly so all the parts are constrained and nothing is loose then go to the DMU kinematics where you can do your mock-up it's just a mock-up you have to do you have to fake the movement it's not a real simulation it's just a movie and sort of yeah animation nothing else the term is a little bit irritating or misleading so there are no bearings there are no mini shafts but this sort of works at least yeah and depending on which parts you fix the movement will be different so I will cover the whole process and I will begin first with this part because that's not the original one I did a new one so I can show you how to do it properly use pattern with keeping the specifications pattern only one feature at a time and then reuse the pattern in the workbench assembly or kinematics how to copy components into a new sub-assembly with the constraints I will show you how to get these circles which are controlled by parameters into your parts how to use them with that joint but I will not do all the parts I will just do this part I will leave the original gears I will just add some circles to these gears and then assemble it and then try to simulate it so if you're interested in this very lengthy series give it a like down below uh, or leave an inspiring comment <laughs> and hope it's interesting for you so thanks for watching see you to next one maybe in this series it depends how many likes it will get so let's see how many likes can we get for this project and see you to next one bye bye